Look at that shit eating grin. Hey guys, it's Advanced Logic. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last part, we may we fought that one boss and we got the LG of emptiness. Well, we fought these one skull enemies. I don't even know what the fuck to call them anymore. Uh, we got the Elegy of emptiness, emptiness, and now we made our way all the way up here into Stone Tower, the very top. So, what are we going to be doing from here on out? Well, let's go do some shit. Mainly involving the Stone Tower Temple. The final temple of the game. Well, pretty much officially the final temple of the game. There's one more later on, but yeah, know what I mean. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty damn tough temple. And apparently those things can't get hurt by a uh, hookshot. Alright, good to know. Good to freaking know. And hey, there you go, buddy. And there's a bomb tree right there. And why, what the hell? Freaking Link. And I'll... I'll get it eventually. I'll get it eventually. Hey, I got it. I told you I'd get it. Um, anyway, now let's try to figure out how to go about this temple. Because I haven't done this temple since my practice run, and that was God knows how long ago. Anyway, what you want to do is shoot at one of these tits. Mainly the one with the eye on it. And that'll make a chest pop up. Shoot tits to get tits. Eh, <laughs> alright. Anyway, now let's just make our way over here, and it, of course, uh, just like every, all the other three temples, this of course has straight fairies in it, and they're golden. Oh my god! But yeah, these the straight fairies here. I had a long. I really had some trouble trying to figure out what the fuck to do, how to figure that, that how to find out where they were at. Yeah, it was kind of difficult for me, and we can't do anything in this room. Other way, jackass. All right, so. Die, you asshole. There we go. So, yes. Onward. And you... You too. There we go. This way. Because this is the way you're actually supposed to go. And let's pull out some bombs while we're at, while we're at it. Aim for this little wall right here. Because, of course, it's cracked. Or you could have used the bomb chew. An actual bomb chew, but nah. Too much effort. And there's a chest that's upside down right there. And we can't get to it. Yet. Oh my god. Spoilers! And let's just get the bomb trees out of the way right now. Yeah, get out of my way. Because they're just gonna be a hindrance for what I have planned. And of course, this huge ass switch. So we're gonna need the Goron form for this and its Elegy of Emptiness. There we go. You're gonna be making a little bit of use of the Elegy of Emptiness in this, ta in this temple, of course. Mainly because of its effect. And there's going to be a lot of switches that you need to push down just to open a door in front of you. It's kind of bullsky, but you know what that means. Anyway, now let's just hit this other switch. There we go. I didn't think I'd actually get it because I felt like I messed up with the C-Stick. But whatever. I'm going to have a bit of trouble with this temple because I remember getting lost trying to figure out where some of the last straight fairies were. That and how to get to the boss itself. <laughs> I had a bit of trouble there, too. So, anyway, I'm telling you guys right now, as I told you guys before, try doing the LG of Emptiness with uh, Deku. It's not going to work because, uh, yeah, it's too light. And I'm going to have to pull out the Zora forms for this one. There we go. All sorts of quickness. Yeah, I didn't think... Damn, I did that pretty quick, if I do say so myself. <laughs> God, I feel all weird tonight. It's gonna—it's like nine o'clock on July nineteenth when I'm recording this. Yeah, I'm recording pretty early, but still, I want to get this out of the way so I, I actually catch up with my neglected games. I have a huge list, and I just barely crossed one of them off the list, even though it only took me like I think a day, two days to actually cross it off. Because like I just recently beat Metroid Other M. It's a pretty good game, pretty damn good. Though, story-wise, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Anyway, what you want to do here is pull out some bombs and just drop them there. Drop it right there. Oh, wait, not this one. The other one. What the hell am I thinking? Yeah, may as well get some... Hey, hey, wait. Hey. All right, I need some arrows for this bitch. And just add insult to injury. Fuck you, Duke. And... Hey. Get the fuck out of here. And you too. <laughs> it's awesome that it still shows like that freaking uh that they break when they get hit the ground. Like this. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, what you really want to do is bomb this little tiny wall right here, this little floor right here. Because what this does, it's definitely going to help you in the long run when we go into the next room. So let's go down here. I could have just dropped down from there, but nah. This is how you're supposed to figure this out. Well, not supposed to, but it's the way you're usually supposed to. Anyway, you just hit that freaking uh, sunblock with that. With the lights! And yes. And we're just going to need the ground form for this because, of course, it's uh, resistant to heat and all that good stuff. I remember watching Nintendo Capri Sun's like, take on this. I still can't believe you managed to figure that out without pulling down, without destroying that roof over it for the light. But whatever. Now we have the dungeon map. Let's get the fuck out of here. And this map is going to be a godsend. I think we have to kill all the enemies in here in order to get the straight fairy to appear. And so let's just get that out of the way right now. And there we go, there you go. And no, not those ones. Alright, fine. Probably one of those. Hey, here we go. Alright. So yeah, you have to destroy the ones on the lava and I think on the other side too. I remember that. No, my god. No, my god. No, my god. And two for one. Get the fuck out of there, Link. Yeah, how you like me now? How you like me now? And they were just dancing across the, with each other, all like, "Oh, let's die together, my lover." Oh my god, like stone lovers or something like that. Oh wait, this is what you need for a key, not a straight fairy. What the hell am I thinking? So yeah, fairy key or something along those lines. And I'm just grabbing some health, even though I only needed it, like for one health. All right, so I think there's something we'd actually hook shot our way across uh, up to. Yeah, right there. That might be a straight fairy, either that or it's just a hint for something later on. I can't remember this temple very well, so I'm just gonna stop making assumptions at what's what and the what in the butt. Yes. All right, so now we have two of the 15 straight fairies. Onward, whores and bitches and all that good stuff. And I should probably pull out the straight fairies mask for a future reference. So that way I don't go running around like a GGS. Even though I might need the... Even though in this dungeon you actually do need the Ocarina. For usually the em LG of emptiness. I don't know. And what the hell am I running around for? <laughs> I, of course I gotta pull out the Zora mask. So yeah, you're gonna be making use of all your transformations. This, including the Zora... Including the Deku mask. What the hell am I saying? Of course you use the Zora form. Make a lot more use of it than freaking deck before, that's for damn sure. And holy crap. And oh crap. Of course, they had to pull out these enemies. Uh, excuse me. Oh, and if you guys noticed, I actually deposited the money I had before just to save myself some hassle in the future. Holy crap. Alright. And it just spawns an upside down chest. Which we can't do anything about. And get the hell out of there, Link. Get the hell out of there, man. And yes. Here we go. I don't think there's anything we can get up in here, so onward. Oh, this is where we were at before. I think it is. Or like in the one room when I went right. So what you want to do here is shine some light on that little mirror thing. And make sure you get it on there for a good couple seconds. And then once you let go of it, run over there. And use the light to hit the block right here. And now we made, we've made a full circle around this area. So what we want to do here? Holy crap! I got hit by a freaking bomb shoe that's standing on the chest right there. It's humping the chest. And it's ejaculating with proudness. Anyway, now we got the compass. Holy crap! <laughs> All right, so now we have the compass. There's a chest or two up in this area. I think there's something we could do up here. Either that or something else. Oh wait, yeah, there's a switch right there. May as well hit that. I think this is what we have, we have to do, or it's for a straight fairy in the future. That's usually how these temples work. So... There we go. Ah, damn it, my sound messed up. So now I can't hear the sounds at all. And, yep, it just showed that chest right there. So now, yeah, now I can't hear shit. Oh well. So now we have to look for a key. Somewhere, somewhere around here. Over the rainbow. And all that good shit. 
You know, without the music, I sound weird. I sound so weird, man. I just feel like I'm talking to myself. I need the music. I need the music. I'm going ape shit and burn. All right, I'm done here. So where the hell do I go from here? Yep, I can't remember this dungeon for shit. Hmm. I know there's the chest underneath there. Holy crap! How did you get there? All right, fine. And so let's try going back through here again. Actually, what the hell am I doing? Probably had to go back the other way. Eh, we'll figure it out together. We will overcome all obstacles and all that corny good stuff. Yeah. So yes, let's actually go back in the water, into the water. Probably gonna have to find a key somewhere around here. Can't remember this dungeon very well at all. Oh my god. And it just got stuck in there, what the hell? And maybe I had to kill all the enemies in here, maybe? Holy crap, holy crap. <laughs> Damn, I thought I could just destroy those with my magic, magic genius. Alright, no, I saw some, yep, yeah, bio deck the babas. And. Bam! I don't think I actually do have to kill the bio deck of babas, but I'm doing it anyway, just making sure. Because I know we had to do something in this room. Either that or something else in back in the last room we were at. Oh, I think there is something we had to do. So, back over here. Hey. There we go. So, yeah, the Stone Tower and Temple is definitely a lot harder than the previous ones. The previous temples, I mean. Holy crap. Holy crap. Uh, other way. There we go. If you could. And... Yeah! Magic! I don't know. I think that's pretty much what we do have to do. But for now, I just remembered this. Because this is what gave me trouble in the past. Hit that switch with the spin attack and make that chest appear on the other side. Trust me, you're going to want to do that later. Save you some hassle. Seriously. A lot of hassle. Anyway, now that we have a small key, let's continue onward with the dungeon. Holy crap. Holy mother of horror. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna... This dungeon's gonna be the death of me. But, uh, speaking of which, crap, I forgot to get, like, Chateau Romani. Because I told you guys before, Chateau Romani is very, very, very helpful for this last dungeon right here. Very helpful. I cannot stress that enough. You could do it without it, but it definitely saves you some time and all that. And magic. Everywhere in this bitch. And here we go. I think for this part we're gonna need the Goron form. So let's do that right now. Let's try punching this. Yep, we're gonna need to punch all of these to make some light appear. There are gonna be some enemies that spawn up around here. They're gonna give you some trouble because they infinitely respawn around here. So let's just get them out of the way right now. So, yes. I don't think you could make the light reach that. Yeah, you can. So you're gonna have to use the mirror shield to shield these lights right here. And hopefully that'll be enough. All right, come on, buddy. Come on, but Ah, damn it. Freaking black bows. Get out of my face. Black face. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that should be enough. Come on, buddy. There we go. Got that one out of the way. I don't think we're that far into the freaking dungeon, and it's already, like, gonna be 14 minutes. Holy crap, Nejiron. Uh, die a very exploding... Ah, wait, crap. I guess you can only do it with a hookshot. I guess they're more immune to arrows than anything else. And die a very explosive death. There we go. And dawn of the second day. Damn. Huh, this is for a straight fairy. All right, so very easy straight fairy to get right there. That is, if you don't count, freaking count the bows that, like, spun up around here. All right, screw you. All right, never mind gonna try killing you with the hookshot. Anyway, what you want to do is hit the one over here on this side. And if I could just aim properly or something. There we go. Now that's proper aiming. I'm gonna try figuring this out as quick as possible. Holy shit. And shine it on this one. Shine it on that one. Ah, damn it! Freaking black bows! Freaking black bows. Get out of my face! So I may beat you with your own face or something along those lines. I'm trying to get some light in here. I'm trying to bring light into this world. 
Not to be associated with Light Yagami of the Death Note. Fuck that guy. That guy is kind of crazy. There we go. Alright. Now that I've hit the 15 minute mark, I think I'm probably going to be cutting it soon, though. I think we're coming up to a boss fight or something. Something or other along those lines. And fuck the Nejirons. There's going to be quite a few Nejirons in here. They don't really explode unless you freaking hit them with the weapon or something. Like either your sword or your hookshot. Preferably the hookshot, just so they don't give you trouble. And yep, stray fairy somewhere in here. Not in there, but possibly in this one. Or some... Oh, wait, it's in the middle area. Oh, I think you need the lens of truth or something. Uh, that you... Oh, wait, wait, what the hell am I thinking? You're gonna need the freaking mirror shield for this, because you have to shine it on one of these. These will either spawn up... This is either gonna be... Eh, freaking black bows! Seriously! You gotta hit one of these, and it should be able to spawn up a... No, wait, that ain't it. And uh, good... I don't think they... Uh, yeah, that's not it. Come on. Aim properly. There we go, I think it was that one. Yep. That makes a chest appear, and that has our next straight fairy in it. So I'm just gonna grab that, and I'm gonna be cutting it here. Next time on Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're gonna be continuing on through the Stone Tower Temple, and hopefully get the dungeon's item. I'm hoping, if I don't get lost again. So, see you guys then.